يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وامنوا برسوله يؤتكم كفلين من رحمته so he relates that Abu Abbas al makhrimi reports that Muhammad uh, ibn Abu Ja'far al-Haddad was one of the people on the path of tawakkul, the path of resignation, of uh, the ways of the early Sufis of basically having very little, if anything at all, to live on. You know, they would take undergo extreme journeys for the pilgrimage, for the hajj or other things with, with basic next to no provisions. None of the creature comforts, definitely, that if we... <laughs> speaking at least for myself if i don't have i'm not taking that plane that they, they don't they don't serve the right type of uh the right type of snacks so these weren't their considerations in the slightest they were on the path of tawakkul so he says on the path of tawakkul for 10 years he worked hard in the marketplace so how did this manifest he used to as far as the outward is concerned as far as people could see this was a man who had a job and he worked very hard he worked hard in the marketplace but he didn't buy even a glass of water for himself, nor did he use to, his daily pay to go to the public baths. Well, then what did he do? I mean, these are kind of very basic things, aren't they? Water and, and using the public baths, paying with one's wages for these things. Rather, he distributed it all to the poor people of Shunzia, uh, an area, if I'm not mistaken, of Baghdad, and other places. When night came, he went from door to door, gathering crumbs of bread with which to break his own fast. That's what he did for himself. For others, he worked through the day like anybody else, but instead of living a comfortable life, he spent it all on others, on those in need, the poor people. Not riya and not showing off, but seeking out. The way that Sayyidina Umar radiallahu an, when he was caliph, used to go around listening in, dressed in a way that people wouldn't recognize him, and seeing to their needs. And then when night came, he himself, for his own nourishment to get by, fulfilling the obligation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to eat enough that keeps uh, one alive, he'd go from door to door gathering just crumbs of bread, things that people didn't want anymore, the, the refuse with which to break his own fast. Well, I, I can't do that. Isn't that a bit extreme? The point of these stories is not to say you must do the exact thing. Something like this is something, as we saw, this is a, a person known for being on the path of tawakkul, his own murshid, his own spiritual guide, would have guided him, would have instructed him at an earlier stage or at that stage. The point of this is the spirit of this. He worked hard in the service of others. To be the first to receive more great videos like this as they're released, click that subscribe button. Also, to take a course and increase your knowledge, Go to kiflane.com.